Okay, so this is a, uh, a ginseng embrace, or ginseng embrace, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, so the idea of the brace is to um, put uh, a, a child um, into an asymmetric posture. Um, the old, uh, historically, um, braces that have been used in the UK, conservative treatment, uh, are very cylindrical. Um, yes. For example, this one on the left. Um, Boston is a term... Oh, that's, that's, that's not the same brace. So no, that's this, not is, a this is a kind of um, old... Yeah. Um, uh, well, it's not old. It's a. This is this is. If you were in the NHS um, or m most places in the UK, use this style of bracing. It's the traditional ones. That it's traditional. Most people uh, um, yeah. So style. we're trying to force a bent spine into a straight position, yes. essentially, yeah. two dimensionally. And and what you can hope to achieve with that is to um, control the curve and stop progression. Mm -hmm. at, at best, that's a kind of a really positive outcome. What we're trying to do with this is is um, kind of harness the sort of principles of the of the Schroth technique in a brace. So the uh, brace is overcorrective and asymmetrical. So, so you're it's actively pushing against pushing their asymmetry. Mm, yeah, yeah. So in three planes. This uh, yes, exactly. And uh, that so Boston braces don't um, don't deal with the sagittal plane. Yes. And unfortunately, mm. there's a lot of flat back deformity after that type of bracing. Uh, this brace works, uh, it, does, it doesn't do anything to the sagittal plane other than help, help you know, allow it to maintain. And may maintain. I just have a quick sort of, yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely rigid, that's it solid. Is, yeah, There's no, yeah. is that comfortable to wear for the uh, force a young is, child? The forces required to apply a significant correction to the spine are very high. Um, yes. So, but the, the, What's good about this type of brace, I mean, if you look at it from um, the top, it looks very obscure in, it, in its shape. Right, so it orientates us to this, the straps so this, are at this, the side? Um, yeah, so the straps are at the front. The front. Unlike Sorry. the Boston. Um, so if I go to the back, so this is a brace for somebody that has a right thoracic curve. So actually it's the same as this one here. Um, it is, yeah. yeah. Um, so this, this uh, correction here is... Um, uh, uh, to correct the thoracic curve, the main apex of the curve, but what you've got over here is a large space. So, at the beginning of the treatment, you can put your hand within that space. So it's a, a, a there's a lot of space within the brace because we're trying to shift that entire thoracic block. So sort of that that bit there, we're trying to shift it not just to midline but actually over to the left as well. So you get a significant correction. So it's not like being squeezed into a tube. Mm. Exactly. It's being put into a custom shape yeah. with space to be pushed space into. Space to be pushed into. I understand. Um, so, so because obviously the thoracic, somebody with scoliosis with a right-sided thoracic and scoliosis that, doesn't, is not is, shaped like that at that's all. That's on the outside of a lateral curve. Yes. Thank you. Yeah.